All right, Bears lose to the Rams. Listen, I was pretty much out on this a few weeks ago. Some people became optimistic. Some people talked about this being a big game. Kind of drew me back in, drew some people back in. But uh, this is obviously officially the end. Um, just never fully put it together this year. Um, it's extremely depressing. Uh, the quarterback, the head coach from, you know, just like today, we got a million chances. Nice touch with the funeral music. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back to Barstool Beef House. This is edition number six. I'm your host, Barstool Carl. And like always, it's kind of a rough start to the beef house here. The bears are dead. Poor Eddie. Poor everyone else. And we're going to get to that. But first, some light housekeeping. Housekeeping, you want men for pillow? Please go away. Let me sleep for the love of God. What kind of a beef house is this? It's our beef house, which reminds me, get in the mood for the season, guys. We got some great merch out there, some ugly sweaters. Buy some gifts for the kids, for your parents, whoever wants it. You can get it at https colon double backslash store at barcelosports.com backslash collections backslash Chicago. That's https colon double backslash store at barcelosports.com backslash collections backslash Chicago. All this shit can be yours. Staying on a promotional train. Listen to Redline Radio. If you like what we have going on at Barstool Chicago, tune into our podcast. Drops regularly every Thursday. We also do a bonus episode the day after Bears games, morning of. Recap lately, it's been a bunch of misery and bullshit. A lot of people think it's just us talking sports, though. It's not. It's basically the Barstool Chicago HQ lifeblood audio fucking content that you can get. Just yesterday, we had a passionate, spirited discussion about root beers. Cut to it. Uh, you know, roster shit going on, Cubs, White Sox, blah, blah, blah. Chris Bryant's having a baby, but I can't get my fucking brain off a of root beer, Ed. Listen, I am not a root beer guy, okay? I enjoyed your blog. I, I respect root beer. I respect it. Let me let me say that one more time. I respect root beer before <laughs> everyone's like, I don't even know what that means. Guy. Yeah, what, what does it mean? It mean? Yeah. People like it. Like It holds a place in people's heart, but I'm just not a root beer guy. So Ed wants someone, to put the shield out there so someone doesn't come to him later and is like, you're a moron. Like Ed wants to be like, <laughs> no, hey, that's listen, exactly what he's doing. Hold on. Someone offers you, you respect it. Someone, You're thirsty. Someone says, hey, I got a fridge full. All I got is root beer. Are you saying, I'll have tap water, or are you going to have that root beer? I have root beer. Okay. Yeah. So you uh, you drink it. It's okay. You will yeah, drink it's okay. it. Are you it's opening just... the fridge at J.P. Graziano's to grab a root beer? No, absolutely not. What do you think that is? Root beer, duh. But back to the Bears. I know I just said Red Line Radio is an entirely Chicago sports podcast, but it's unavoidable. We got to talk about the Bears. Show Eddie. Show the candles again. The 2019 Chicago Bears. All three phases, it's ugly. Fucking head coaching, quarterback play, the front office. The whole thing's a bag of shit. And I'm not the only one who's going crazy in Chicago. Cut to that wild man. Fuck! They can't win a fucking game for shit! They're so bad! They fucking mentioned the last two minutes of the game. Sure! What the fuck is that going to do? Because you think Chase Downs is the answer? Fuck you, Nagy! Get the fuck out of town! The worst part, though... No more hot tub videos. I was just feeling like I was getting on a little streak there. It started with Suzanne and a shot of penicillin. What's your name again? Carl. Carl. Very nice to meet you, Carl. Carl. Yeah. Do you live here in Chicago? I do. I live down the street. Nice. Very convenient. Very convenient. It's going to be a bit of a the walk back will be very interesting. And thus concludes week 11. Tailgate, November 11th, Bears vs. Lions, in the hot tub with Susanna, hanging out with Denny, a couple great tasting less fillings, no doubt about it, no Matt Stafford, Bears are going to beat their fucking ass, let's fucking go. Go Lions, Fuck we the are Lions. kicking your ass, I'm sorry to tell you. Alina, you're back. <laughs> Susanna, you sweet, sweet lady. Thank you for bringing me a Bears victory. I tried to keep the mojo going. I snuck into some super nice apartment building I can't afford to live in. Didn't exactly work out. Action. Quick little lineup preview from a random Streeterville apartment building. Can I get one? Can I get one? How you doing? <laughs> Bears vs. Lions. Hot tub lineup preview. You know what we're talking about. No Susanna this week. I got her stepdaughter with me, Crystal, instead. How you doing, Crystal? I'm doing good. And you know what it's all about, guys, okay? You know what it's all about. It's the biggest fucking game of the year. 
It's win or go home. We're trying to get to 500. We need this fucking game. Jared Goff sucks. Mitch, it's an hour fucking never. It's an hour never. So fucking week 11, pal. Rest of the city's behind you. Okay. We win tonight. We beat the New York football giants. We beat the Lions on Thanksgiving. We hammer the fucking Cowboys at home. We're seven and five. We're seven and five. We go to Lambeau. We're eight and five. We win the fucking, we win the division. Does that mean no more partying? Absolutely not. We took Barstool Chicago on the road. Me, Eddie, intern Danny down to Eastern Illinois for the very first Jimmy Garoppolo night ever. Shout out to Ike's Bar for hosting us. Place is fucking crazy. I love Eastern Illinois kids. The night was absolutely awesome. Cut to some footage. Thank you to all the Panthers who hosted us and made it a very special evening. We will be sure to be back in Ike's. You're probably my favorite bar in Charleston, Illinois. Not really sure what that says about Ike's, but we love you nonetheless. Also, very importantly, we got home safe and sound. It was an absolute fucking disaster on the roads out there. I ended up in a ditch. And real quick, before we do cut to the footage, I want to take some credit. Before I had this gig in Barstool, Chicago, I was a mid-market insurance salesman. That meant I had to spend a lot of time on the roads. I had an all-wheel drive, very safe uh family sedan it's a super legacy 2015 i don't want to hear any fucking shit from you guys it was the number one car in the consumer report when i was buying it for my fucking category and income level i don't want to listen to your bullshit oh carl why don't you have a fucking better car that can stay on the roads? do you think when i buy that car i'm anticipating being on some country highway in central illinois driving into a fucking ditch no cut to the footage <laughs> not good we're pushing yeah, we're waiting for this guy to pass, and then we're going to try and get out. Uh, I think we could use your help. Yeah, I'm sure. If you don't have anything, don't worry about it, but we're okay. We got a couple of young guys. They literally don't have a GM. They just, it's just Mike Brown. It's like Morgan Lewis was the coach, and he like did, I don't even know what he did for six years. I'm serious. It's a nice fucking car. Um, Had a great time. Thank you again for Eastern Illinois, Ikes, all those guys. It's the third time I thank you, Ikes. I don't know if you're paying us for that, but you certainly gave us a hell of a night. Uh, we got back in time, safe and sound for what? For the White Sox Dave Cheesy's Challenge. It was disgusting. White Sox Dave took on like a 10 pound sandwich and it did not go well. Yeah. You guys want some water? Yeah. Yeah. Just a yeah. pitcher with yeah, awesome. you. I'm on a mission from God, all right. But kudos to you, Dave. You won. You managed to beat our 160-pound intern in an eating contest. Williams. Williams. Let's keep the competitive storylines moving. White Sox, Dave, you were mixing shit up on the internet once again, you fucking troll. This is unbelievable news. Biggest conflict that's happened is starting World War III between the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. But before we get to this conflict, a little promotional here. Guys, buy Rough and Rowdy. It's tonight. It, uh, you can go to www.buy. How many did I do enough W's? Yeah. Three W's. Buy R&R.com. Sign up if you're a gold member. There's your promo. Rough and Rowdy tonight. Tune in Rough and Rowdy. Dave, we're going to have to get Christian Yelich and you Darvish in the ring. Listen to this story. Listen to this breakdown. Obviously, we know what's going on with the sign stealings, okay? A Cubs blogger, a guy named Brett Taylor, had tweeted out some pictures that he thought had indicated Christian Yelich was picking up signs from left center. Well, White Sox Dave just couldn't stand that. He didn't have a dog in the fight. He even says it. Can we underline that? I don't have a dog in the fight, but it looks like this is wrong. Brett, confused, says, Dave, White Sox, you know, Twitter, whatever. Why are you guys asking about this stuff? White Sox Dave need video i would need video so what does brett do brett goes fine everybody here's the video of what i'm talking about dave big mistake you darvish catches wind you darvish publicly comments on the video he says ah that's why i stepped off the mound i don't know if we have to translate that in and out of japanese i know the guy does a lot of youtube work in japanese what i do know is this he tweeted out that that's why I stepped off the mound because of Christian Yelich. And then Christian Yelich quote tweeted you, Darvish. And what did he say? He says, no one needs help facing you. Boom, bombs went off. Major League Baseball, the whole Twitter fan base, everybody's going absolutely fucking bananas over the story. And why is it, guys? You can trace it back to one simple thing. White Sox Dave needs 
video. If White Sox Dave doesn't need video, do you think you Darvish is quote tweeting the story? Absolutely not. Do you think Christian Yelich is shitting on my face right now? Absolutely not. But as it stands, this is where we're at because of White Sox Dave. And another pleasant reminder, by Rough and Rowdy tonight. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, here we go. What do you think? You got something you want to say? Remain humble, baby. Remain humble, baby. Remain humble. Here we go. Leanna Cruz. Where's Leanna Cruz? You got anything you want to say? I've always wanted my own cheerleader, so I hope she's been practicing cheerleading again because she's really about to be my bitch. Now, Williams, normally I would expect the baseball gods to shit on a guy like you for such a Bush League move to start a fight between two legends like that, but they didn't at all. They rewarded you. They gave Yasmani Grandel uh, a White Sox contract for four years and $73 million. Imagine that. I guess you earned it, Dave. Go get yourself a beef. Just signed one of the very best catchers in all of baseball, and I'm selling Braden with none other than an Italian beef. Not a very good one, but a beef's a beef. And this is Beef House, and it's gonna be White Sox House come 2020. Carl, the Cubs have had their fun, but it's a White Sox town now, man. Zach Wheeler, you're on deck. Castellanos, you might be after him. Who knows? That'd be fucking hilarious. If Castellanos switch uniforms, switch, switch red line stops. It's a White Sox town. Enjoy your beefs this weekend. I'm going to have a beef with you, big fella. This one's for you and all the other White Sox fans. Maybe White Sox Dave doesn't deserve it, but I know you White Sox fans do, certainly. Dave, congratulations to you. Keep the content line moving. I'm thirsty for it. Everybody needs it. And while I'm handing out kudos... Chief, my man, you basically hosted a whole interview process. We're going to have a great video out next week. This is disgusting as I'm eating this on camera, isn't it? Root beer break. Don't cut this. It's seriously refreshing, too. Like, it has a stain power to it, or like a lot of times when the ice melts into it, it does not tarnish the value of the root beer. It almost... I gotta gather myself, the jar is hot. Carl, why didn't you fucking dip the beef more? Go fuck yourselves. It works well when the ice melts. <clears throat> what are we talking about? White Sox Dave. No. Chief. 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 Holding White Sox Dave's hand through the interview process. We're gonna have a great, I almost said bomb video. We're gonna have a great, do not cut any of this. We're gonna have a great video out next week of uh, Dave was interviewing people to like think for him or be his big brain or something and Chief clean it up. Cut to a video. Joe. Joe, nice to meet you. Joe, Joe Ryan, nice Joe, to meet you. Too. Here's your phone charger. <laughs> Minus one. Do you have a phone charger on you? No, but I got a charge phone. Is what if Dave phone needs one? Phone phone charger? So this is the pro like I'm trying to offload. I'm like I've been the interim Dave thinker for as long as I've known him. I'm trying to offload those duties. You think Dave's a smart guy? I think there's a lot of potential. I think he has a lot of good ideas, but you need someone, like you said earlier, just to help you out. Make sure that what, everything you want out there is going to be the best it can be. So, short answer is no. You don't think I'm a smart guy. I think there's been some missteps. Can you speak up a little bit? Yeah. This is, conduct yourself like a professional. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I okay, well, Maybe I, I mean, drink that. I do you want to do your shot of alert test? Would yeah. that help you? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we have glasses. Yeah, Don't be. We're, we're looking for right. less heathens. We need okay. someone to be like, "Hey, Dave, like, put that in the glass." No, 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 no. that's More? not a shot. Right, well, I mean, that's that's plenty. That's plenty. Okay. Chief, you're the fucking man. Guy behind the guy. Every group of friends needs a chief in it. If you don't, your group of friends sucks, which reminds me, we started with promotional items. We're going to close with promotional items. We started with the bears sucking. We're going to close with the bears sucking. Raise your hand if these shirts look familiar. Hit me. Hit me. Eddie Money. Eddie Dinero. I mean, we fucking sold these things. Chief, on his word, has said, send him evidence that you bought one of these shirts, you own one of these shirts, you've worn one of these shirts, and he's going to send you, I don't know if it's a handwritten, did he say handwritten? He said a personal apology or something, like a cameo, but not like a video, like he's going to email you or something. He wants to get in touch with you. He feels that bad about it. We feel that bad about it. Surprising, though, it doesn't seem like anybody on the Bears feels that bad about it. I don't want to get down that path. We're closing the beef house. Thank you again for tuning in. Again, a reminder, sponsors, it's that time of year. Help me buy some presents for my family. Hey, how you doing?